In this module, you will learn about Thomson's atomic model. Are the charged particles arranged in any particular manner? Are the charged particles spread throughout the atom or are they concentrated in one place? To answer these questions, let's go back in time. Dalton's atomic theory stated that an atom was indivisible and indestructible. However, in 1886, Goldstein came upon positively charged radiations in a gas discharge, which he termed as canal rays. These radiations led to the discovery of the proton. The mass of a proton was about 2,000 times that of an electron, and it carried a positive charge. Around the year 1900, J.J. Thomson conducted experiments on the beams of particles inside a glass tube called a cathode ray tube. He found that the particles were attracted to the positive terminal of the tube. Thomson concluded that the particles must be negatively charged and called these particles electrons. An electron has a negligible mass and has a charge of minus one. These discoveries made the scientists believe that an atom was divisible and made up of electrons and protons. What they didn't know at the time was how these electrons and protons were arranged within an atom. They tried to understand this arrangement through various experiments. J. J. Thomson was the first to put forward a model to explain the structure of an atom. In his model, Thomson compared an atom to a Christmas pudding. The electrons were like the raisins in the pudding, and the pudding itself was like the positively charged particles. This can also be explained through the example of a watermelon. The positive charge in the atom is spread all over like the red, fleshy part of the watermelon, while the electrons are embedded into the atoms like the seeds of the watermelon. The oppositely charged particles are held together by electrical force of attraction. Thomson concluded that an atom consists of a positively charged sphere with electrons set within the sphere. An atom is electrically neutral as the positive and negative charges within it are equal. As per Thomson's conclusion, the electrons were embedded in a sphere of positive charge. This conclusion, however, was incorrect. Thomson asserted that the positive charge spread through the atom held the negatively charged electrons due to electrical forces. This assertion failed to explain many experimental observations. In this module, you have learned that atoms are made of charged particles. According to Thomson's model, an atom is a positively charged sphere with electrons set within it. An atom is electrically neutral. Shortcomings of Thomson's model are his incorrect assumptions. Electrons are embedded in positive charge. Positive charge in the atom holds the negatively charged electrons.